I got six more days to go. I got six more days to go. Until the Charlie Ford drops through my door, I got six more days to go. Hit it. <laughs> Titles. Greetings, one and all. This is Rhythm Works, and with that Soul Solid Crew mashup throwback, welcome to my channel. Yes, as you can see from the amount of freaking gameplay footage I've got in my PS4, I need to get rid of that shit because even though I've got a one terabyte hard drive, I'm running out of space. And that more or less equates to the game. 52 gigs of gameplay actually equate to the game actually loading. So. I'm gonna have to get rid of some of this shit, but I'm gonna um, reveal some, show some um, within the next seven days. Some will have commentary, some will have, won't have any commentary. So here we go. Now, before I go any further with any gaming related talk, I have to stand in congratulatory form as a lifelong Tottenham supporter in congratulating Leicester City Football Club for winning the Premiership. I think their endeavours has put the Premier League to fucking shame. Honestly, I really do. They spent as much on their team as some Premier Clubs has spent on one single player. And it's the very cohesive nature of the team's play on the pitch that defines them as champions. You know, and it's being touted that this is one of the biggest sporting success stories ever in sport. In sport, you know, okay, with the exception of Muhammad Ali, I would say. But in terms of football, there's no other big Roy of the Rovers fairy tale endings like Leicester City at 5,000 to 1. That means there's no chance. Gary Lineker basically stated that if Leicester, a club he played for, a place he lived, was working in a market store with his dad, said that if Leicester won the Premier League, he will do match of the day in his underpants. When he spoke to, uh, to, um, to the manager, he basically said, Gary, I don't want to talk to you. When you do match of the day next season, the first episode, you are going to do it in your underpants. And I don't know how Gary's going to get himself out of that one as a Leicester City aficionado. I don't know how he's going to get away with it. He's going to have to do something, you know, because I can't see Gary Lineker being a fraud and letting down people to what he pledged he was going to do. You know what I mean? So congratulations Leicester City you absolutely deserve it you know can't take nothing away from you I have to say that our match against Chelsea was a bit was a bit spicy at times man it was like nine yellow cards wow <laughs> you know there was a need for for Tottenham to basically halt the celebrations but it wasn't to be you know in the sheer grit and you know I, I would have to say mind fuck games that Yes, I said it, the mindfuck games that Chelsea was basically playing, you know, it more or less affected us because it was 2-0 up, you know, so I don't see how we sh how we could have basically just let it slip. But then, you know, emotions got in the way and, you know, brawls and fights, not only between players, but, you know, with the team staff and all of that, it was just a mess. It was really just a mess. But anyway, besides all of that, not taking away anything from Leicester City, man, congratulations. They've been singing in the streets all night they've actually gone back home and come back out this morning it's, it's just an amazing sight what i've seen on the news but anyway back to gaming uncharted 4 i don't really want to sound like a hater on this but you know it's been the release i'm talking about it's been handled <clears throat> pretty sloppy in terms of basically people getting early pre-release versions of the game i'm not talking about you know um the gaming media and the gaming journalists i'm not talking about them it's their job to get stuff early but i'm talking about like regular joes like myself do you know what i mean just through their um their utter wanton greed of getting something first before anybody else gets it when the game is not even playable in some respects do you know what i'm saying so for me personally 
I don't think it was really handled that good. But nonetheless, I'm going to enjoy playing the hell out of this. I got some friends I know that they're not going to play anything else. This for me is more or less going to be the game of the year. The one thing that um, I'm really intrigued to finding out is if Uncharted 4 has a co-op mode. Do they have co-op arena and co-op adventure? I think if they have those games, those modes in the game, I think <clears throat> quite a few of my friends who are more or less um, first person shooter fans, I think they will enjoy it. Seeing as they kind of played um, Star Wars Battlefront as well as a third person shooter, I think, you know, they'll, I think they'll get into this. I really do. It's just a different game altogether. And I can't stress this highly enough. You know, there's very few games I've actually played that I've felt the gunplay mechanics really really fitting like a glove in my controller it's like you know when i when i fired an m9 gun in uncharted 3 man it really felt like an m9 you know what i mean so people who are not even familiar with the gameplay mechanics of uncharted 4 they're gonna be in for a treat now for me this is the game of the year without a doubt it is the game of the year it is an event um even though some people has got the game early and are willing to be jerks and do spoilers and reveals and stuff like that you know for me i've tried my hardest to avoid a lot of things in relation to this game um the multiplayer was enough for me i actually didn't like it at first because i just thought it was too much going on it was just too busy but i get it i totally get it i get the relevance of all the mysticals because it's it's a old it's a homage to the entire Uncharted series, you know what I mean? Unless you've actually played the whole series, you won't get it. If you're just coming into Uncharted 4 multiplayer beta and seeing all that shit, yeah, it looks real busy. But, you know, for aficionados like myself, I totally get it and understand it now and I have a full appreciation for that. Um, so, please tell me, are you looking forward to the game? Um, what will you be playing first? That's the big question. Will you be playing the story first or will you be playing the multiplayer? I think personally, there's going to be a very minute amount of people playing the multiplayer. Um, because there are some that just only goes for the multiplayer. And it will be interesting to see how the multiplayer pans out. Like I said, with the, um, the co-op, I'm looking really forward to the co-op as well. And never have I played a game where a lot more women play you know as opposed to like first person shooters you know i've i've met a lot of women playing uncharted 3 that wouldn't ordinarily play first person shooters it's not just something it's not something that they're really into but playing uncharted 3 co-op arena and adventure they're on it all day every day man do you know what i mean and they and some of them are really really good so i think it's 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 definitely a um a friendly game it's a user-friendly game absolutely for sure and i think if they get the modes right i know plunder mode is in there but if they you know if they um put in a decent co-op mode just to get the casuals and the, you know the casuals in i think that this game will be played for years and years and years and years and years because let's face it this is the last chapter of the uncharted series it's emotional you know it really really is um it really is emotional for me personally it's just one of those games that defines gaming in a big way in terms of story development character development you know just in terms of pushing the envelopes in env pushing the envelope rather in in every facet of gaming naughty dog has done that in tremendous fashion so i gotta big them up gotta big them up and say thank you thank you thank you naughty dog looking forward to the next ip you're going to be putting out i know the last of us 2 is going to um is going to happen but it will be very 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 interesting to see what game naughty dog is going to drop next as a new ip really i'm just looking forward to that already you know what i mean so it'd be interesting to to gauge what is going to happen in future but until such time this game is going to take up a lot of my time you know i'm not denying it I'm not denying it at all you know 
and um, I'm just hoping that you know my squad is are vibed up on the game you know I hope their interest doesn't wane in terms of it being a third person shooter um, and just being a shooter of quality because let's face it you know when you mention Naughty Dog the name just evokes quality absolute quality so yeah that's it and is with that I'm gonna bid you guys adieu for now and um, as always thanks for stopping by thanks for passing through and is with that you don't know the coup whatever the game media platform format genre happy gaming ladies and gentlemen because that's what it is truly about boys and girls brothers and sisters and until I catch you on the next one please 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 stay blessed Magar. Thank you.